If you guys have watched me for any period of time, you know that I recently, like about a year or so ago, discovered a Canadian sitcom. And I'm not talking about Shit's Creek, which might be maybe up there with Parks and Rec and Seinfeld and The Office is one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. But but also kind of coming up there too, there's this amazing sitcom that I had not really heard of and certainly didn't follow called Kim's Convenience. And I love Kim's Convenience. For those of you who don't know, Simu Liu, who is now Shang-Chi in the MCU, comes from Kim's Convenience. And also that X-Wing fighter pilot you saw pop up, the Asian X-Wing fighter pilot you saw pop up in a couple of episodes of Mandalorian, that guy, his name is Paul Sun Hung, Hung Lee, and he was Mr. Kim in Kim's Convenience. And I love this dude. I just think the dude is great. I've I've watched that show so much. And just the way he carries that character, it's just enjoyable and lovely. And I adore it. I absolutely adore it. By the way, I forgot to mention to you guys, for those of you watching live, I forgot to turn on the Super Chat feature at the beginning of the show. If you guys want to fire in a comment or an observation or a thought or an opinion about any of the topics we're talking about here, go ahead and use that. Don't send in questions using the Super Chat in the uh, live chat there. Use the tip link for that if you want to send in a question. But if you've got an observation, thought, or opinion, go ahead and use the Super Chat. I turned it on now. Anyway, um, so I just, I think the dude is delightful. And I was heartbroken when Kim's Convenience ended. But there was a piece of news that came out this morning that made my heart smile. Absolutely made my heart smile. Now, a lot of you guys know there's an Avatar The Last Airbender live series coming to Netflix. There's already been a bunch of casting announced for that. It's looking really solid so far. But one of the big roles we're wondering, who's going to play Uncle Iroh? Who's going to play Uncle Iroh? Who could possibly play Uncle Iroh? And oh, they got him. They got him. Paul is going to be, Mr. Kim is going to be Uncle Iroh in the Avatar, The Last Airbender series. Now, there's some other casting announcements there too, and I don't care. This is all about <laughs> Paul Sun Hyung Lee. This is all about Mr. Kim Damn. joining <laughs> Avatar as Uncle Iroh. This is amazing. And there's, by the way, there's kind of a cool connection here too, because you're one of the younger kids in it was in Shang-Chi. And of course, Paul starred oh, that's with right. Simu Liu that's right. in, in, that in the cutie, Kim's Convenience. Yeah. So you got a little bit of a connection there, which is actually pretty cool and pretty fun. Uh, I cannot begin to express my excitement about this. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this here. This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write, uh, Netflix continues to build its live action Avatar, the last Airbender series, adding Kim, Kim's Convenience alum, Paul Sun Hyung Lee, uh, Lim K. Su, Anna and the King, and Ken Leung from Industry to the cast. Uh, they join the stars Gordon Comier, uh, I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this. Kia Wentito, uh, Ian Owsley, Dallas Liu, and Daniel Day Kim, which we were really excited about when they announced his casting as well. Netflix also revealed that will that it will partner with uh, Pixmondo for the upcoming series, which has started production in Vancouver. So to me, glorious, glorious news. Listen, I, I was very, very late to Avatar The Last Airbender. I was very late to it. I ashamedly saw the M night movie before I ever saw the animated series. Oh, how sad. And you know, as her, you know, one of the trying to make lemonade out of lemons, like during the pandemic is stuck at home. I'm saying, well, you know what? I'll finally watch avatar, the last airbender. And I really liked it. I really liked it. I don't think it's the be all end all that, that a lot of people make it out to be, but I really did quite enjoy it. But I'll tell you what, my favorite character was uncle Iroh. There is an episode and maybe you guys in the live chat can help me out with this. There was an episode where it was kind of a uh, anthology episode where they're telling a, a number of different stories in it. And he's walking around town and he's singing this song. Ah, thank you guys in the live chat. Uh, Tail James Argenta, I think was the first one to put it in said tales from Ba Sing Se. Uh, and a bunch of other you guys sing it. The tales from ba, uh, ba Sing Se where He's an uncle and he's walking around town and he's singing this song to cheer up kids. Soldier boy, come home, come home, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember the exact song, but something about soldier boy, come home and putting smile on pieces, everybody's faces. And he's going around town gathering some things together, but we don't know what for. And then when the episode ends, I'm getting emotional thinking about this. When the episode ends, 
he has walked out of town with this basket of stuff that he had collected in town. And he goes to this tree on a hill and he pulls out a picnic blanket and he pulls out a picture of his son and puts it on the picnic blanket. And then he starts singing the same song, soldier boy, come home and learning that his son had died in war. And I'm, Shit. I am breaking right now. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm, I'm emotionally getting worked oh, up and sad just thinking about it. It was one of the most beautiful things. And I'm thinking yeah. this is in this kid's cartoon. God. I'm actually getting weak. <laughs> no, if you it. cry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful. No. It's so beautiful. And I think that was the moment for me when I went like, this is a fun little mythology kind of story. This is pretty fun to, oh my God, there's some really special stuff here. And to get a guy like Paul to come in and play this role, I think he's going to crush it. I think he's going to do amazing in this. And uh, I was very, very excited to see this. And of course, another good Canadian kid um, getting a break in this. So I'm looking forward to I, Kim, you heard about this. What do you think? What, what can I say? I love Appa. Oh, I Appa. just love Appa. I'm and I'm so happy for him because, like you, I was m very disappointed in how Kim's convenience ended, not the ending they deserved. But good for him. I'm so excited. I love seeing him in the Star Wars stuff. Absolutely love it. But um, I think this show is shaping up to be great. But but you touched on something important. Um, this show is really about heart. It's not so much about the fighting. I mean, the lore um, is, is very interesting and the mysticism. But honestly, it's really about the heart and the relationship that these characters have to one another. And there's something about him that I just want to, like, hug him. Like, he's one of those people, like, if I ever see him, like, can I? I'm so, can I hug you? Like, can I just like, can we just give it in? Like, I love him. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, I'm really excited for the guy too. And I'm excited for this series. And again, listen, I was talking a little bit earlier that Netflix, not a good track record with their original movies. Excellent track record with their original series. That reminds me, I got to watch the new episodes of Arcane. I'm a little bit behind of our, on Arcane now, which I'm falling in love with, but they have an excellent... Now, I know there are still some people out there who are apprehensive because, you know, the original creators of Avatar aren't involved with this show. Oh, no. But you know what? Lots of stuff gets done that didn't have the original things. I, I really do. And as much as I don't trust Netflix with original movies, I totally trust them with original series. And I really believe this is going to be great. At least I hope it is. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this news? Mr. Kim, Appa, Paul is going to be Uncle Iroh, and I couldn't be more happy about it. How do you guys feel about this? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.